hey, listen, when God wants you to follow a certain path, he likes to use adversity as a form of a wake-up call just to catapult you straight into your destination. In most cases, if he didn't use adversity, you would stay comfortable and would never move. You would never put the work in that is required to get you to the next level. That's when God will step in and make your life uncomfortable so that you will make it your duty to keep moving forward. Who am I talking to today? In my experience, I got so angry with my process at the beginning, y'all, because it felt like God just shook my world upside down and just dumped it on the ground and left me picking up the pieces, trying to put my life back together like it's a puzzle. That's just how I felt. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna just keep it all the way above. I got frustrated so many times. I felt like throwing in the towel and giving up, but I came too far to give up, so I kept applying more pressure. The harder your life get, that's when you got to apply more pressure because if God leave it to you, you're not gonna make the right decisions, chosen ones. For me, the routes I was taking was the wrong way. I done been rerouted three times before God put me on the path that I'm on now. The one thing that kept me stuck in my process was leaning to my understanding instead of God's. God ways are not our ways, chosen ones. That's why God say, do not lean to your understanding, but what? Lean to his understanding. Who am I talking to today? That's what it said in Proverbs 3 and 5. So what ended up happening is, for me, now that I done leaned to God's understanding, I was able to see more clearly. I was able to gain more clarity and wisdom on my path. And I began to realize, because at first I ain't gonna lie, I'm like, dog, is this karma I'm going through? Like, what in the world am I going through? I didn't understand it at first. I didn't want to understand it. I was angry, like, God, why in the world am I going through this? I don't deserve this. And let me tell you what God's response was. I'm not shaking up your life. For you to fail chosen ones i'm reconstructing your life from the ground up so i can show you things how things really supposed to be done i'm pruning you in this season god said so god isolated me from all the people that did not have the right intentions for me he also isolated me from the people that i relied on and i thought i need but what God showed me in this season, Chosen Ones, I can get it out of the mud by myself and still apply big pressure. Who am I talking to today? Hear me when I say this. I apply big pressure in this season. So now I'm happy about my process because the adversity I've experienced helped me turn my pain into power. And it made me stronger than I've ever been before. Especially when it comes to like dealing with enemies and dealing with a lot of situations in the past I didn't know how to respond to. God gave me the wisdom that I need to be able to respond to the adversity that I experienced. I don't know who this message was for, but I hope this message resonated with you. Let me know in the comments if you've ever experienced going through adversity where you just felt like your life was shaken upside down and you didn't know how to respond, you didn't know how to bounce back from it. And if you're still stuck and you need clarity in your life, book a session with me. I wanna help you find the clarity you need. I wanna help you gain the wisdom that you need so that you can discover your greatness. Because what God is doing for you is miraculous. I know it's going to look like there's no hope, but the moment that it starts looking like there's no hope in your situation, that's the moment that you need to pray and you need to fast and ask God to guide you. Don't be a prisoner of your pain, chosen ones. You got to fight. The battles that I had to fight in this season, I didn't even realize that I had that much strength. But you will never know how much strength you have if you have a lot of distractions and people around you that's trying to siphon your strength, that's trying to reduce who you are, that's trying to constantly belittle you and try to attack your confidence and your self-esteem. Don't be around people that's trying to bring you down, chosen ones. Don't be around people that's trying to provoke your spirit. If God isolates you, let him isolate you. Learn how to be alone. Just because you alone don't mean that, that you got to have somebody. A lot of people mess this part of the process up because they feel like they got to have a man or they got to have somebody in their life. And, and yes, you know, it feels good to have that companionship in your life. It feels good to have that other person there, you know, to rely on when you need them. But what about if they're not there? What you going to do then? You cannot rely on nobody in this season. You got to keep applying pressure as if you... Even if you are with somebody, you got to keep applying pressure as if you was by yourself. Your quiet strength is what's going to propel you forward. Do not let nobody bully you out your spot. Stand in your power and know who you are. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to book a session with me, the link is in my bio. See you in the next one. Let's go.